welcome to the garden. Today I'm harvesting some sifted compost. First, I just need to get rid of all this material and make some space. When I cleaned out the old log pile, I got a bunch of this bark, which is actually really great composting material. And a lot of these logs are really soft. Look at all this punky wood. This is perfect carbon rich material. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at that. That is some really good stuff. Look at this. Oh, that's amazing. For now, I'm just gonna set these aside. Look at that, it's just crawling with life already. So I'm just gonna flatten off a spot over here and then we can sift all this beautiful compost to just get the finished material. I definitely wouldn't want to just add all of this straight into the garden. There's just too much unfinished food scraps and leaves that aren't quite decomposed yet. So that should be good for now. I just like to lean this up against this pole at about a 45 degree angle. Now it's just a matter of scooping and sifting. So I do that just by fluffing the material up against the sifter. This is just a really simple frame out of some recycled wood and hardware cloth. I find that's a pretty good size. Anything larger like chicken wire will just allow bigger food scraps to fall through that aren't quite finished. And anything smaller, you're going to have a really hard time getting that finished material. So let's take a look here. That is gorgeous material. Wow, look at that. It's amazing. This is a lot easier to do if your compost is dry. When it's wet, it tends to kind of clump together. But this is gonna work great, look at that. Now this, you can add directly to the garden. It's just amazing. taking the unfinished material and adding it to these tumblers just to store it. We'll add it back to the pile once we're finished, but it's nice to have it out of the way so it doesn't get mixed back in. This also has a few other benefits like aerating the pile, and it really lets you get to know what you're composting. For instance, I see here a big root wad. Some of the trees or shrubs are actually encroaching into the pile through the drainage holes at the bottom. And these roots have been severed, but the ones that are still attached will actually draw nutrients out of the compost. So it's just something to keep in mind. You may also see sticks in here. They take a really long time to break down. Even little tiny sticks like this can take years to break down. There we can see some food scraps, little onion peel. That's pretty recent. It's not a guarantee that everything that goes through is finished, like coffee grounds. Those will make their way through even when they're fresh, but they compost pretty quickly as they're mostly devoid of nutrients. Ooh, we can break up those clumps. That's all good for the compost. That'll help speed things along. Anytime I see eggshells, I'm gonna crunch them down. If those little bits make their way through, that's great. That'll add some nice calcium. And just making them smaller will help them decompose faster. If I do see any worms, I'll try to save them. I also see a few sprouts in here. I'm not sure what from. Uh, that actually looks like an apple seed or something. <laughs> so that's why I don't compost weed seeds. They just pop up in the compost and then eventually in the garden. And every once in a while, I do like to clean the back of the sifter. It just gets stuck with leaves and bits of grass. 
So definitely wear gloves or use a scraper. Look at all of that beautiful black gold. Oh my gosh, it's so fluffy. It's so light. It looks perfectly finished and it is just crawling with life. We've got a little ant, a little millipede there. Looks like a little isopod. All these little critters help break down those food scraps. I'm gonna have a little bit steeper angle here. It'll help it sift through naturally. We're just using gravity to our advantage. So this little angle system is just about the easiest way to make a sifter. I would love to get like a rotating sifter or some other kind of much larger piece, but you know, for now this is perfect for my size. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna make it through the sifter. But look at this, it's so punky. That's gonna be excellent compost one day. Been at this for hours and for the first time in a long time I can see the bottom of the compost pile so that's kind of cool I think I might actually do another Hugel culture experiment piling all these old punky logs for another Hugel compost that was one of my first videos on YouTube but look at all of this both of these tumblers are full of the unsifted material that's just everything that was left over I even had spillover because I ran out of space. Then over here we have our sifted compost. It's beautifully finished and that's not all. Look at this. <laughs> I had to bust out the kiddie pool. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the most compost I've ever harvested by far. Look at this. It's like a mountain. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so awesome. It's got to be like 200 pounds of compost. My forearms are so tired. Oh. So I'm going to finish sifting just a little bit more. I'm not going to touch what's under the uh, sifter right there. That's all just going to go back on top of these logs. So I'm hoping that this is going to add some carbon back into the compost and absorb some of that extra moisture. It was really wet down here. So it's hard to sift. It's kind of stinky. So all this old punky wood is gonna be a great sponge to absorb some of that moisture. And I'll probably end up splitting these logs too before I put them in.
So now I'm going to do the other half, just like this one. First, we'll just harvest the last of our sifted compost. Now, we could definitely get a little bit more, but, <laughs> but we already have so much, I'm running out of space for it. I can only add so much directly to the garden or we'll start burying our plants. It takes a pretty long time for logs to break down. These have mostly broken down outside of the compost. Ugh, look at how spongy it is, wow. <laughs> this is probably some of the best compost material imaginable. It's like sawdust or shredded newspapers, just pure carbon. So if you enjoyed this massive compost harvest, let me know in the comments or with a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.